Singapore Today with Lance Alexander and Daniel Martin. Yes, it's all about Singapore today. And on Thursdays, it's all about our lifestyle editions where we, you know, our little mantra here, Thursday is the new Friday. It is. So we hope you get into the mood of it, uh, where we start planning things to do over the weekend that's just around the corner. And with us to tell us what to do this weekend and even as we lead up to Christmas, we've got Kevin Yeo and Wilbur Suen. Uh, co-founders of local lifestyle blog Little Big Red Dot. Welcome to the show, Kevin. Let's start with you. Uh, tell us about this crazy Christmas musical that uh, we should know about. Hello, uh, I'll get your word to share because he was the one who attended the, the show just yesterday. Sorry, sorry, I yeah. get, sorry. What was that? I missed it. So I will be sharing about it because I was the one who attended it yesterday. Oh, okay. Let's hear it. And you are? Yeah. This is not Ke- uh, Kevin. Wilbur? Oh, yeah. Wilbur. Okay, Wilbur. Go for it. Yeah. So, uh, Chris, Crazy Christmas Boss of the Bells is actually a Christmas musical uh, at Capitol Theatre. And this also features Kuma and Broadway Bing. And of course, I mean, since Christmas is leading up, uh, it's a nice time to just go and chill and watch some musical to just be happy. <laughs> well, how, how was it? How did the crowd react? Oh, very good. I mean, I mean, the the show were entertaining and the crowds are all very happy, busy laughing. Yeah, so it's a very feel good event. Uh, very, very Singaporean, Singapore a lot of Singapore good. flavor, lah. Is it? Yes. Yes. I mean, when part of your cast is Kuma and Broadway Bing, uh, Sebastian <laughs> Tan, I believe. I think I think that's a given, lah. Uh, yes. Hey, You're right. <laughs> we've got another thing that's on your blog, Kelvin, uh, Kevin and Wilbur, and that's the fact that One Holland Village just opened. That is actually around the corner from us here mm. at uh, Media Corp in Portstown. And the newest addition to the whole Holland Village area, it is an open-air concept mall featuring alfresco dining, some pet-friendly amenities, and even a dedicated lift for pets. I think it's integrated into the the residential area, right, isn't it? Tell us a little bit about it, guys. Oh, uh, I I think the what what's interesting about the mall is the fact that it's pet friendly. Um, because personally, I travel to Bangkok quite often, and it's uh it's kind of common over there, but I don't think we get that a lot over here in Singapore. So, I do hope that uh it will be an interesting place where where over the weekends, right, you can, you can actually see people bring their 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 pets like dogs and cats over there, and then they will dress them up. Uh, and then they will just uh, strap the staff over there. I, th- I think it's, it's, it's going to be an interesting site um, to, to just hang out over there. I don't think the alfresco dining will be very popular this time of year because of the heavy <laughs> rain. Uh, right? Yeah, it's like raining huh? non-stop. Yeah. And now, as of now, it's still raining. No. Mm. <laughs> but okay, I mean, how is it? I mean, it just opened and maybe a lot of people don't know it's open yet right now. It must be quite empty. Is it crowded? What's it like? Have you all been to check oh. it out? I think the crowd is uh, definitely there because uh, I mean Singaporeans love to check out new things, right? So um, I mean, do expect some crowds uh, if you go like during the weekend. Mm. Yeah, but but then again, like, if you are around the area, can drop by, take a look at something new rather than just going to our typical malls. <laughs> but it is integrated into the residential area, right? There's a there's a new condo development that's come up there. Then this is part of the mixed development, if I'm not wrong. Yes, correct, correct. I think one thing good for drivers is that uh, finally we can The car park is back! Ah. Parking, yes! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> First world problem again. The car park, they moved it so far away. Yeah. It's very far away. And then uh, now it, yes. you can park inside the, the One Holland Village, is it? Yes, correct. So it's much more convenient. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, since we're talking about Christmas, is there anything else that we can do this weekend other than heading off to watch Kuma in action in that crazy Christmas? I go on, I go on, I go on, I go on. Have you? What? I went to check out. Have you guys checked it out, Kevin and Wilbur? Um, Ice Magic. Ice Magic. It's off, open at uh, Marina Bay Sands in front of the the, 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 the Bayfront area in front. Yes. They set out the tentage, everything next to the open air car park. And it's snow in Singapore. So it's the entire tentage area. Oh, there's right. snow, there's ice, there's slides, there's lights that come on. You get to wear your winter jackets, your gloves, your hats and go in and walk in the ice and throw snowballs. It's fun. Wow. And there's kids even, would love it. Yeah, the kids will love it. And there's even food area outside they set up. So you can go outside, cool, warm up. 
uh, eat some good food and drink and then pop back into the snow and play, 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 play. I would advise people, I went to check it out. Uh, like just remember like coming in out of the hot weather or the hot sun, it, you can feel like you're breathing in the cold air. Right. A bit challenging if you're not used to it as well. So, you know, go in, come out, go in, come out. Up to you lah. But it was, it was, it's cold, man. The ice was great. And they supply all the gear as well. You can rent uh, the winter wear. I believe you can bring your own as well. It's ice magic. It's there until January, January 20 something. So you can do some ice skating uh, there as well. No ice skating. Oh, no ice skating. Um, but they do provide you the winter boots and then you can walk, walk inside, throw nice. snowballs. Okay. The slides are fun. The kids love the slides. Price-wise, do you know? Uh, the tick- I'll check, I'll check now. But uh, Kevin, Wilbur, have you you check something like that out? No, we haven't actually uh, been on site yet, but we know of that event itself. In fact, uh, just just at the same area, they have this uh, turbo charge, which is a go-kart circuit set up <gasps> at the same area. Oh. So maybe like if you are there for the event, maybe go for the go-kart first, and then after that, head over to the Ice Magic to cool down. <laughs> or the other way around, uh, you very cool, and then you go and drive yeah. like, to warm up. Uh. Go cut very hot. After that, you go and you need something to cool down. <laughs> <laughs> I just checked out the general admission for weekday prices for $42 for Ice Magic. Uh, general admission for eve of public holiday and weekends fifty three dollars. Uh, so you know, go there. It's called the largest touring pop stay, up winter it, playground. Sorry, Daniel, can you stay as long as you like? I believe oh, so. Okay, I believe so. Uh, Kevin and Wilbur uh, in the news today yeah. as well. A new study finding that there are warm and cool spots in Singapore, uh, and the difference can be as much as six degrees. <laughs> so we want to do something that's free. Um, can you maybe tell us uh, about uh, some cool places or warm places that you recommend people to go to? We can tell you that Telo Ai in the heart of the city, the CBD area mm. is the hottest and Upper Pierce Reservoir is the coolest. So uh, maybe you can tell mm. us about uh, some things or places you can go to. We'll start with the cool area, the Upper Pierce Reservoir area. Some nice things you can go and do there. I know they've got a beautiful reservoir there. We all know that. The name sort of gives it away, but also you can you can yeah. uh, go for nice walks, and it's not too far from the zoo area as well, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the Pierce area is a good place to, as you mentioned, it's a coolest area. Um, take take advantage of the cool weather now, and I think it's a perfect place for park towing <laughs> <laughs> with, with the beautiful view that I think many Singaporeans don't even know about. Is that <laughs> is that the hidden appeal? <laughs> Of Upper Pierce is a part of area? <laughs> yeah, I mean, apart from just uh, going for a show or ex- exercising, I think, yeah, it's a good place for Papua. And, and they, they, they still have that little rocket there, right? Where huh? people can climb up to take pictures, correct? I'm not familiar. I think so. Isn't it Upper Pierce? Is it, don't really remember. I know that's a particular a... spot that people will just go and uh, catch the sunrise. Right. And, uh, but but anyway, now. this... this this time of the month, if you want to go, uh, mm-hmm. calling for, for the weather forecast, I think it's better to go in the first half of the day. True. Seems yeah. like it's always raining after, after, after the afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Correct, correct. Yeah. Then Tolo Aya, we won't recommend anything down there, because hot, too hot. We don't want the people to go down there and make it more hot. <laughs> uh, yeah. Kevin, yeah. Will. <laughs> there we go. It's, it's up a Salita Reservoir. They have a, the rocket tower. Is that oh, the same thing? I didn't know there was such a thing. Yeah. Okay, I go Google now. Mm. See? The things are even I, I from my own on air partner. I learn about new things as well. Hey, Kevin Wilbur, thank you so much for joining us. Kevin Yo and Wilbur Swan, uh, co-founders of local lifestyle blog Little Big Red Dot. It's Singapore's today on Al Thursdays. It's all about your lifestyle events. You're tuned into CNA nine three eight Singapore today.